and welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day. And man, it was a beautiful day here today. Oh man, temperatures were in the 60s Fahrenheit. It was gorgeous. It was such a nice, nice day to be walking to and from work. Um, but today we're probably going to be inside. So hey, it's going to be it's going to be fun. Let's uh, jump over. I mean. I read uh, the Tinker World SMP, so let's hit that right button. All right, now got some got some things to do here. First of all, I'm gonna harvest the sugar cane because I didn't get a chance to do it before I started. It's not a lot of sugar cane, but it's uh, it'll be nice for handy uh, rocket use. But I need to get a couple of things here. Hey, Thomas. Welcome, welcome. All right. So first thing I'm going to need is some of this. And do I have... Okay. It's like, do I have wood? Yes. Yes, I do. Perfect. All right. I need some slabs. Yeah, we'll just do that. Slabs. Okay. Because I'm going to need... Oh, probably more sticks than that. All right. Crafting table. All right, so let's see. I'm going to need some of those. 31 might be a little much. But 16 will probably do it. All right. So, also, what do I have in the way of leaves and stuff? Not a lot. I don't think I've actually collected much. All right, that's fine. I'll need that later, but for now, for now, let's get up here and try to figure out some building goodness. Oops, that. Wrong staircase. It's over here now. When I say now as if it were ever someplace else. Okay. Cool. So. All right. So back in the pop-up shop, and the roof is on, of course, which is great. And I think what I'm going to be doing is turning this into some form of plant goodness. So I think let's first maybe connect this to the ceiling so it looks like it's hanging. And I think to do that, I'm going to use some grindstones, right? So I'm going to take some grindstones, and we're just... Okay, so wait, did I put those the right way? I did. Yeah, see, we're going to take this sort of chain approach here. And assuming I am going to get these. Yeah. Yep, we'll just. Well, I was just going to pop that up that way, but apparently there's no room. So that's fine. That's just peachy. We'll, we'll make this work. Uh, But not that way. Now that's just flat. Okay, gravity. Gra no, I'm just gonna fall down now. That it seems like fun. The, all of the falling and the down and the also falling. All right, which way is this one? That one? That way? No, other way. Cool. All right. You know what? I'm definitely going to need more stone cutters than that. Cool. Yeah, a real downer indeed, Thomas. A real downer indeed. All right, do I have a... I do have a crafting table. Perfect. All right, let's grab a few more of these. It's eight per side. I might be one short. Okay, let's see. Stone cutter. Perfect. Assuming it is eight per side. Okay, so definitely want to get. So that side's in here. This side, let me clean out this dirt just while I'm thinking about it. Oh, the falling and the down. All right, so let's see. Get this. 
No, 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 no. Let's get that in place. All right. Okay, maybe. And come on, one more, one more. Okay, great. Ah, okay, nope, those blocks need to stay there. Yeah, see, that's gonna look good. I think I might get up there with a little bit of glow lichen. Maybe, we'll see. All right, next step is do I want those that are sticking out to the side. I don't think I do. Let's go ahead and take these out. And we'll go ahead and pop this up. Now these will probably not use quite as many. Okay. Let's try this again, this time with feeling. And... Yeah, all right. Nice. Lower roof on that side, you know? Yeah. Goodbye, dirt. You were lovely and beautiful once. Wow. Failing at the scaffolding. All right. Come on. Oh, right. Jeez. Those, yeah, one of those is enough, definitely facing the wrong way. Okay. Try this again. Nope, other way. I don't place with those, obviously, often enough. Okay. But that's okay. We can, we can do this. There we go. That should take care of that. All right, yeah, it's a little dark up here, but I think that's going, going to work for the moment. That was silly. I'm gonna have to get right back up there. Why did I take that down? Okay, yep, I know how scaffolding works. I totally do. Absolutely. Okay, so what do we got? We've got ourselves some some chains suspending the ceiling. All right, let's let's get up here, and I want to clear out this dirt because it's not going to be there. It's not going to be there as part of this final design, so we're not going to worry about it. And as I start trying to figure out what I'm doing with the rest of this, you know, it'd be nice to sort of get all of this extra garbage out of the way. All right. There we go. Okay, so this is... This is good. I've got uh, some, some of these chains in now. So we have ourselves a supported ring. Now, what I want to do, pick up all this dirt that I just dug out, is I want to make this sort of a, a hanging garden, hanging planter of some sort. And I'm going to need something here in the middle, I think, just to provide a little bit of support for stuff. Um, but not, I don't know necessarily what I want it to be. So let's go ahead and play with a couple of things. I'm going to play with a couple of things around the outside of this just to see what kind of looks good, what kind of goes around this and gives brings a little color up there and I don't know, it might be a good base for any number of things, really. I don't know what though. Hmm. Should save some of that for later too. <clears throat> so I've I've been in I was in meetings at work all day. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just uh Lots of talking. And now, looking at another two hours of talking, it's like, I'm not sure my throat is totally uh, happy with this situation. And I found that 
a soda of some sort typically helps my throat stay all nice and happy. At least much better than uh, just water does. Some slabs, maybe. Let's bring some trapdoors. I'm going to need the trapdoors anyway. Okay. I'll take those. I've got some blocks. All right. I may have to come back down and get some more. I'm definitely going to be up and down quite a few times as we, as we get this all sorted out. But I'll figure out something here as, this, as we get this in place. Now... Let's see, let's see now. I definitely want to bring some, some color out there. Hey, Snoopers! It's going pretty well. How are you? Actually, you know what might be really good here? Let's... Hmm. It's going to break things, maybe, but... I was just thinking maybe a little bit of yellow glass might be good in the middle of that, too. Let's get up here. I think let's just work on one side, and then we'll we'll see how this goes and maybe replicate some of this. I don't know. Okay. That's in the wrong place. It's okay. And let's take some trapdoors. All right, so that gives us this little bit of a angle there. Okay, I think that's that might work. Okay, this is going to go like that, and then this will go here. Maybe. Oh, man. Itchy nose. Also, you know, gravity. I think that's going to be good. Let's... I'm going to bring some of that inside of this ring as well. I don't have a huge amount of room, but... If I were to, to bring this in this way, and then... The trap doors... Okay. Now, the good news is... Trap doors are transparent to light, so... They're not going to have any issues with this... Beam. All right. Okay. Let's see. What's that looking like from down here? Oh, that's not bad. I definitely need to bring in some more light. But, okay. All right. So let's go ahead and run this... Run these planks all the way around the outside. I don't know if I want to put them in the corners or not. For the moment, I'm going to say no, but we'll play with it a little bit more and see. All right. Now, my wee little mind is not the most uh, artistic in the world. I think I've mentioned that a couple of times, so we're going to... Oh, maybe some trapdoors in those corners would be good. Okay. This is going to be... Okay? Okay. Alright, yeah. Let's go ahead and just trapdoor these corners. I think that's going to be... It's going to be good. I mean, I could bring in some cherry trapdoors there, but I think I like... I think I like having the... Most of that color... The same. Um... All right, hang on. Hang on, hang on. What do I need to make? Let's make some mosaic blocks, and then can I turn those into slabs? Yes, I can. Perfect. All right. Let us try these again. Or at least uh, maybe... Oh. Let's maybe slide the scaffolding out just a little bit. So, wait a minute. I have scaffolding. Where did it go? 
Now, some of this could be a place that, oh yeah, overhead scaffolding would look really cool, but. All right, so what I wanna do is let's take some of these mo mosaic slabs. For some reason I was expecting to get, have more of those, but okay. All right, let's pull these corners. Ah, sneezes. I've got the sneezes. Listening as you cook. Ooh, nice. Hopefully you're cooking things that are fun and delicious. Or I may have to go get a tissue. This is not fun. All right. So what happens if I put this, put one of these mosaics in the middle? Oh, actually even better. I mean, that's kind of okay, but let's... Try something else here. Um, I happen to have, down this way, I have some mosaic stairs, which might be really cool, because they've got some fun, um, I, they've got the mosaic shape, but they also have, right, this cool little, uh, this cool little pattern to them. So let's, let's grab these, they might be they might be good here. Version of bangers and mash. Okay. Because <laughs> you've not made it before. All right. That's fair. We had some... Uh, what do we have? We had some shredded beef sandwiches. We had cooked up a roast in a crock pot with some chilies and various other spices... And then I added some toasted French bread with, in my case, provolone. My wife is all about, like, Swiss, but for me, provolone was the way to go. Man, that was tasty. Right idea, wrong blocks. Okay. Let's try it this way. And regular planks are that. Hang on. Just the way the stairs were sitting there. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay. Yes. All the cheeses and the monkeys. All right. So let's take the mosaic stairs over there. And I think I dropped one. Yes. Okay. Ah, good. Good, good, good. I can pick things up. I have that talent. Okay, and then that will go there. All right, and then let's take these ones out. Take the, uh, and, and we're just going to maybe just see what the regular slabs go. okay. All right, that's okay. It's adding a little bit of shape, and I think I want to put a little, a little bit on the outside of this as well. So let's see. Let's just go ahead and craft up. That's not going to be enough. No, no, not even a little bit. All right. Some more mosaic and stairs. Okay, that should work. If I'm doing two per side, that should totally work. All right, but I'm going to leave most of this. Let's see, I think I should just take it out of the corners like this. That's not a bamboo. Okay. Getting it? Get it. All right. Yeah, I think the mosaic, even though it's a little bit noisy, um, it's just going to provide a nice little bit of extra texture, at least I hope. Plus the depth of the stairs. I think this is going to be okay. All right. Hmm. 
Hmm. I like this idea, but I, th I think, I think I need to do a little bit of something else with this. There's something. Ooh, I know, I know, I know. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. let me try. I'm going to move some of those stairs for a minute and let's see if I could do something kind of cool here. I have ideas. Watch out when those ideas hit, you know, they sometimes knock you over. All right, how's that looking? That side. Yes, okay. I like this. All right. Let's go ahead and take those out. Basically, I'm going to slide these stairs in a block. Okay. And pick up these ones I've dropped because I'm going to need them. Okay, so we got those. These ones need to move. All right. Okay. And then... Then we'll see. I think I've got... One more side to do, and then I'll show you what what magic is going to happen with this. It's one of those times where I get an idea, and I think it's actually going to work. Though, so I may want to pull out some of the uh, some cherry trap doors here along the edge, but it's okay for now. Do <laughs> what I'm going to do is not be able to reach. Cool. Um, I need more. Hang on, I have to go get some more uh, scaffolding. Do I actually happen to have more scaffolding in a box? Huh, look, I need to sort those. That's just full of garbage. All right. I need a sorting system, and I don't have one. Cool, so let's get our stuff here. First off, yep, some more scaffolding, perfect. And then, right, I was gonna grab a few cherry trap doors. Just because I think I may want to throw, I may want to throw a little bit of cherry up there. On the other hand, I'm gonna be putting some uh, cherry blossoms and stuff up there, so that might be enough pink. Hmm. While I'm thinking about this, so got a fun change I'm testing and playing with um, over on musicfreegaming.com. So musicfreegaming.com has always been a place where you could go and su support the channel and stuff. You can become a member, you buy merch, all that good stuff, right? Cool. Well. I've been I'm part of a beta test with Fourth Wall, which is what handles all of my all the site stuff. Okay, let's go that way. Thank you. And as part of the beta, I now have an option to sign up or for users to sign up. I can't sign users up, but if users want to sign up, they can actually now sign up for free accounts at uh, musicfreegaming.com. Now, I don't know what I'm going to uh, do with that, but I think it's going to be kind of fun. So, ooh. so yeah, so, so check that out. You can go to musicfreegaming.com, go to the uh, supporters page, and there's an option to you know, sign up or click. The, I've got instructions in the, in the Discord, but okay, okay, okay. I love this idea. I love this, right? With the, the stairs and the trap door. It's the wrong color. It is 100% the wrong color. I think I need to get in here with maybe some cherry. And basically put in these sort of strappy deals. Yeah, but the, the bamboo is just... It's too much. It blends in too much. I need some some contrast. Okay, and I don't have cherry on me. So, down we go. Back up and up and up. 
I almost want to put in a second elevator to, hey, this is where my storage is. We'll just stop here, right? Okay. Dirt, dirt. And what do we got here? Okay, so there's some cherry. That's pretty close to being it, isn't it? All right. Did I have cherry stairs? I did not. Okay, cool. If I need more, I kind of know where to get some. So let's go ahead and get some stairs. All right. No, I'm going to need more than that. Okay. That should do it. All right. Let's, let's try this with the cherry. I think... Putting in the ch the these cherry stairs instead of those uh, what's it ba bamboo mosaic stairs, it's gonna provide the contrast I want. Yeah, it's gonna pop those out. Okay, it's gonna provide the contrast without getting a too crazy, but will be obvious that hey, there's something going on here, right? Which is sort of what I want here. So the other option was maybe spruce, but I don't have a lot of spruce in this build, and so I'm not sure I want to bring that color into this, you know? Alright, so let's go ahead and bring those in. Get them on all the sides? Yes. Alright. Nice. Now Let's get my handy dandy trap doors, and I think this is going to work. So let's clear the, these ones out. Yes, I think this is going to going to be better. Now, would another color be better here? Maybe. Would it be better if everything were facing the right way? Or the same direction? Yeah, possibly. Possibly. I'll I'll grant you that might be a little nicer, but we're gonna just continue with what we've got and hope for the best. Not that way. Okay. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things is totally wrong. Okay. Just sort of hoping I could reach, but... Nope. Apparently not. Okay. Yeah. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better with the pink. I... I'm still not totally sold on it, but I really like the idea, so I'm just going to leave it, and we'll keep working with it. Uh, I may come in, and maybe maybe Spruce would be good there, but for now, I think this is going to work. I'm not sure what else would work with the colors I've got going on here, too, without adding too many new ones. Okay. But, 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 and it's a big but. We're talking huge. Not sure what else, how else I want to approach this. Now, I do want to put some plants up here, and I am going to need some color and stuff. So, let's see. I think if I'm going to be adding plants, I'm going to need all the bushes. So, let's see what I've got in... Well, let's drop some of this stuff off so I have inventory space. <sighs> because, yeah, I think... Let's get some leaves and let's get a few other... Th other things which will be perhaps happy. Oh, you know what? I actually have a... Um, I have an empty shulker box here somewhere. Where did I put it? Yeah. That'll work. Okay, so we'll just throw all of this happy, happy 
goodness in there for now. And it's awesome. I'm done with this obsidian for the moment as well. That's not obsidian, that's coal. Yeah, never mind. I may need that. Okay, I do have some tough. That's okay. All right. And I really need to dye this, but let's grab the silk touch hoe. Got an axe. Okay. Cool. And oh, toolbox. Nice. So let's get some saplings. Where did I have them? One of these boxes has saplings. It's a lot of oak. Well, I had some spruce saplings, so I may have to be a little more cautious with that. But let's grab some oak. Let's grab some cherry. All right. Yeah, I have ender pearls. I could use them. That would actually make a little bit of sense. All right, so I'm going to cut a lot of this tree down. This one's got not a huge number of leaves, so maybe I'll just let a lot of those ones despawn, and then I'll hit this tree next to me, right? And pick up some of these uh, leaves from over here. And yeah, we'll grab some oak as well. Maybe some birch. Birch is good. I like birch. And I don't want to leave naked trees just wandering around up here, so. We'll take them down and replant. Okay. That's probably good. Yep, I've also been working on another project out, um, out of my industrial area. Nothing particularly crazy. I'm just setting up a little bit of a uh, villager trading hall. Because there are a few things I'm going to want to get in in bulk. That, uh, you know, I'm sort of planning ahead a little bit. All right, I've got the raid farm so I can get redstone and I can get um, emeralds. And that's awesome. Also XP. But that's all going to get nerfed with the next, next update, so take advantage of it while I can. But I want to start a, a trading hall with a lot of clerics and oh, smiths of some sort or other, and then set up an iron farm. That should provide me at least with some of the stuff that I need. Okay. It's nothing particularly crazy, but yeah, and maybe some masons as well. Something like that. It had one very special witch head. Oh. Okay, we'll have to deal with that in a minute. Actually, uh, Snoopers, I have five more very special witch heads. Yeah. Yep, just can't get out. All right, that's fine. I should have just walked up the stairs. Yes, that, that would have been... That would have been better. So, yes, that's, uh... I have a few. Let's see. Did I leave them? Where did I put them? Where did I put them? Couldn't possibly have put them in this mob drop box that has all of those witch heads. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Start a coven. Yeah, yeah. So yes, that, that farm does gather a few witch heads as well. I also have a couple of stacks of pillager heads and stuff, but... I'm going to save some of those, partly because they're... Sometimes nice for uh, redstone. Why am I coming up here? All right. Well, let's just slip back out and fly down. <laughs> I was... I was out here chopping stuff down. All right. Okay. 
Yep, grab some of this birch. And I'll probably grab a little bit of or birch. Um, oak. That's what this is. Oak. Okay. That's a fair amount of oak. Oak is an excellent uh, leaf for building with. But I said I'll also grab some cherry, cherry leaves as well because, you know, they're pretty. That's that's pretty much the reason I'm building, well, a hanging garden, and so color is a good thing. Okay. If I have extra leaves, they are going in the composter. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. <sighs> but yeah, getting the, uh, getting the trading hall set up, said I'm looking maybe, oh, 30 or 40 villagers, something like that. Maybe more, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. The other thing I want to set up, and I'm, I'm debating whether or not I want to do it in the overworld or whether I want to actually head out to the end to do it, which would make it a little bit more of a challenge, would be to set up a copper farm. Now, we have um, a zombie spawner, right? And I think it's been rigged now to, uh, to generate drowned. Right, so the, the zombies show up, they get uh, all soaking wet, you know. Do not bathe your zombies, they uh, don't react well. Yeah, so th they get, they become drowned, and then they drop copper. But mob spawners are slow. So I'm trying to decide if I want to uh, set up something else. Because copper farms are, are very easy. The, the complication is getting zombies where you want them to go. And uh, that is definitely a challenge in the end when, you know, zombies don't typically spawn, right? So. I mean, I could build the farm up in the sky, which also is not a horrible thing. It's, the farms are really easy to do, so. Then it's just a matter of, oh, yes, bubble vaders. That'll get zombies up to where I need them to be. Okay, nice if I actually got all of this wood out of this. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to leaf them up there. So I will leaf myself up there. Yes, I, I had to drop at least one leaf pun into the, the stream. I'm sorry. Sorry. It will probably happen again. Um, it's okay. Well, we can survive this national crisis together. Okay. Also, I am really out of uh, inventory space. Cool. Let's uh, dump some of those. Okay. I'm going to get the wood. I might as well get the wood. I'm kind of... Oh, hi! What do you have that's interesting? Ren, pearl, chanting tables... Yeah. All sorts of fun blocks and then other things. Okay. Well, carry on. I don't know if anybody out here on the server is going to want uh, a wandering trader. Some of them might. I, let's... Okay. Um, do I have saplings? I do. Cool. Wow, I must be really out of inventory space. All right, um, yeah, let's drop off some stuff. Off the stuff. All right. 
I have to deal with that in a moment. All right. Again, should have just gone up the stairs. That's fine. I'll one of these days I'll rem remember where my storage is, and we'll we'll make it a point to go there. Yeah. Also, I probably don't need that many bamboo saplings. All right. Let's drop off some of this wood, and then. Oh, right. I need to replant some spruce trees. Okay. Replanting spruce trees. Also, this puzzle will be become useful as well later, because uh, mushrooms are a thing. All right. Did you get what I needed? I think I got what I needed. All right. Do I want to get birch? I think I'm okay. I'm out of inventory space to get... Uh, well, I was out, say I was out of inventory space to get um, cherry, but I'm also carrying a shulker box. So, let's get all of the wood in there, and yeah, sure. We'll get some leaves and stuff in there. All right. Nice. Now, let's... Let's get ourselves some lovely... This is probably a mistake. Okay. All right. Come on. You can do it. Ah, okay. So, let's see now. What other exciting things are going on? I don't know. Something. I'm sure there's exciting things happening somewhere. Are you having exciting things happen? I hope so. I've heard of dinner happening places, so, you know, that's always exciting. Yeah, said we had those really tasty, um, uh, said roast sandwiches and stuff. That's great. Uh, the my only catch is I've been trying to cut down on, uh, is that your dinner? Nice. I've been trying to cut down on my beef intake, and these sandwiches are very beefy. Hi. Okay. We're just going to pretend that those llamas did not exist. All right. Cool. Use your crock pot more. Yeah, well, see, that's what we did with our... Um, with our roast. We just threw the roast in the crock pot with all of the happy spices and stuff. And yeah, of course, several hours later, we had uh, delicious sandwich stuff. I'm a big fan of crock pots. Crock pots, not so much, but crock pots are uh, wonderful. Okay, so this is going to be thick. Yeah, it was good. Now, today was day two. We actually cooked them up uh, Monday, and today was leftovers. But, yeah, it definitely smell smelled amazing. I actually need to sit down maybe and uh, try to cook up a nice crockpot breakfast thing. I've done that before, but doing eggs in the crock pot is funky. I've definitely had issues with that, so it's like, eh. I'll do something else. Some sort of uh, beanie deliciousness, I'm sure. All right. Cool. So now we've got all of this stuff. All right, I'm going to put this stuff away, and then let's see what's happening with this insurance scam. Because, you know, I don't have insurance. I don't need insurance. I am a strong, independent person who does not need insurance. All right. So, tools. We get ourselves a couple more leads, which is going to be helpful later on. All right. 
Can't eat lunch or just forget to? Yeah, see, I'm one of those people, I have to have breakfast. I can skip lunch. I used to, I used to always um, skip lunch. But I've got to have breakfast. Ow. One of these days I'll get rid of those, but for now. All right. Somebody left this lovely dealy bob. Let's. All right. Book and quill. Let's see now. I write to you about your extended warranty. Has come to. Okay. It has expired. Yes, yes, yes. If you're, if you're truly. Okay. So it, I never bought insurance from Redneck. So what we're going to do is we are going to do what should always be done to insurance scams. Okay. Now I need to let's go let's go get what we need here. All right. Let's head up up to the storage room and let's see now. Okay. Now I was going to get a flint and steel, but I have these lovely tubs of lava right here. So this happy insurance scam, the extended warranty for the, the extended, extended warranty. Yes. No, no. That's where that belongs. No, no. I will not fall for your insurance scam. No. <laughs> Take that insurance scam. <laughs> All right. I'm expecting bad things to happen later, but for now, we're going to go with the uh the refusal of the insurance scam. And we'll we'll see how this plays out. Okay. So, let's go ahead and put those away. Now, actually some sugar cane might be nice. Ooh, um <laughs> to your account and routing number. Absolutely. And then the number of your uh, most frequently used credit card. That would be helpful as well. And uh, yeah. Also, if you've got your uh, social security number handy, maybe the uh, mother's maiden name, all that stuff. Yeah. That'd be perfect. All right. So now let's go ahead and hop up here. Um. Oh, actually, this could be helpful, too. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's, let's get a handful of... Oh, actually, I want to grab a couple of cauldrons, and let's grab a couple of composters. All right. So let's see now how we want to approach this. We've got ourselves a lovely place up here. Now, some extra light up here would be good, too. Because it would be nice to uh, have this kind of light up top. Just to highlight the tops of the plants. But I'll kind of figure out how that goes here in a minute. What I want to do is let's get some not barrel. Get those, we get some of these. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is let's drop some. I'm just gonna drop a few of these as planters, kind of. That one's kind of out. Let's move. I'm a little bit worried that those are almost too regular. Let's move this out this way. Okay. Cool. Now I wanna take my shulker box. All right, we're going to grab some oak leaves, leaves, not leagues. That's totally different. The oak league is where Ash Ketchum probably caught a Pokemon or something. All right. And let's see now. I think the plan here is we're going to get Leafy. And actually, probably what I should do is we're going to run some of this down this way. Yep, just right off the edge there. Um... 
And we've got some options. I'm not sure what they're all going to be, but I think, yeah, we'll just pull some leaves down and it's gonna be probably okay, maybe. Uh, I mean, I can't reach now, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and try this and just kind of see what we get. And hopefully we can get a nice little bit of hanging greenery here that's gonna look good. Something to, be, something to be said for using leaves as blocks, right? Okay, I definitely want to bring that out a little bit more up there. Just a touch. Just, you know, just build, build this up a little bit more. Uh, because it's... It's kind of a little bit... Um, I don't know, not bushy enough. And, but it's also definitely dark here, so adding some color would be an excellent. Or as color, adding some light would be excellent. Okay, so bring some of that there. And I'll start adding in some pink as well, but... What I think I want to do is let's... Oh, right. Okay, bring some of the spruce up this way. And basically I'm gonna, I'm putting some of the darker blocks on the underside, right? Cause they'd be in shadow. And try to put some of the lighter blocks on top of that. Okay. And yeah, I'll, I'll bring some back here as well. All right. And so let's see now, how do I want to bring this down this way? Okay. Yeah, we'll just, we'll bring some of this down like this. Oops, that's, well, that's definitely a spot. Um, sort of hanging a little bit, kind of, sort of. Um, yeah, put a little more spruce in there. Heck, just that is starting to look better. Okay. Nice. I'll, I'm going to need to bring in some more stuff here on the corners a little bit too, but... Now, the, the church I used to... I grew up in had a... I don't know what the, just sort of along the, sort of the entryway, kind of near where the chapel was, it had a bunch of, um, I don't know, it's like it had a, a ridge, and there was a bunch of green leafy sort of fake plants along the top, and that would uh, sort of hang down. I may pull out some of that for uh, for part of this build, but that sort of idea anyway yeah let's see I think maybe right so we're coming out of the pot here so probably what I should do is bring more of the plants down this way Oops. okay that nope nope stay on the scaffolding please please thank you But I th let's go ahead and bring out a little bit here as well. Yeah, just to just bring it down on a couple of sides. Yeah, and then we'll hit that last one over there, which will be great. Let's pick up the scaffolding here. And also, do I have some bamboo trap doors? Probably in the shulker box, which is still up there. Let's double check. Let's see. Yeah, so we've got some trapdoors. Cool. Because I'm definitely going to need those. All right. And I am going to be pulling out, again, some more of the the cherry. But we'll, we'll deal with that in a second. 
And now it's dark up here. All right, so let's go ahead and bring just some of the our leafy greens out this way. I, I keep hearing leafy greens are good for you, you know. I My opinion is leafy greens are kind of what food is supposed to eat. Not necessarily food in and of itself, so... I say that I I say that I actually don't I don't really like lettuce but I love broccoli and broccoli counts as a leafy green so you know we'll go with that all right so is that good do I want to leave it there now I want to bring this this way just a touch okay Oh, man. No, I like broccoli. Broccoli is so tasty. Okay. Let's go and just bring this down one more. Okay. That was not boiled in vinegar. Oh, right. Yeah, always steamed. Yeah. Oh, some nice steamed broccoli. So tasty. I also like it, you know, drenched in cheese, but... Many things are improved by drenching it in cheese, you know? Sometimes I wonder if my, uh, if some of the people I have to deal with on a daily basis would be better drenched in cheese. And I'm still not convinced that they wouldn't be, to be fair. Um, so, you know, I may have to look into that. Okay. This is looking pretty good so far. I definitely need to bring some light up on top because I want to highlight some of what's going on there. Plus, I think I need to add a little bit more greenery. But already, this is looking so much nicer. Okay, so let's see. Uh, light. Plus, I have to get up there and get my shulker box. So probably what would be good would be, let's see if I have, I probably do have some verdant frog lights. So I bought some thinking I might use them for the tower, and then I ended up not using them for the tower. So we'll use them here. And see, I might take some of this grass and a little bit of bamboo. Yeah, let's go ahead and just pull out a stack of bamboo. Alright. And is there something else I want to... Oh, look, apples. I don't need apples. What's... That's just silliness. I seem to have plenty of apples, but, you know. Alright. All right, I'm not sure how much longer I want to spend on this because I do want to actually get down to the, the shop area. But I think what we've got going here is pretty good. It's definitely a good start. I think I want to use more tough and I'm not sure I've got more tough, so that'll be annoying. It might even be tough. Okay, yep, yeah, it had to happen. Sorry, Mojang, you've you've made some of these jokes too easy, and now I just have to make them, and it's kind of silly. I admit it. All right, so let's get some frog lights, okay? And let's throw up some frog lights back and around here. Yeah. That'll work. And let's go ahead and bring a little bit of greenery along the top here. Just to kind of hide the frog lights a little bit. Okay. Nothing too crazy, but... I basically just don't want to be able to see the frog lights directly from anywhere. Okay. 
All right, so. Nope, one of those things is wrong, but hey, that's okay. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and bring in, bring some of this back this way. So as you're looking up, right? So if you're down here, you can look up and see some of this greenery happening out this way. Yeah, a few actual frogs. Yeah, because ambiance. Frogs make good sales critters, right? That That's how that works. Uh, where am I looking a little thin? I don't know, I haven't looked a little thin for a number of years now, but... That's because of the aforementioned love of food and cheese. Okay. All right. So I think... Is that... How is that from down here? All right, that's not bad. Certainly has some good highlights and things. All right. Nice. I think this will work. Okay, I've got some nice greenery going. Now there might be a few things. Some glowberry vines and stuff might be nice if and when I ever get glowberries. But for now, I think we've got ourselves a nice little bit of hanging greenery here. And now it's time to do something about, well, all of the rest of this nonsense. All right, so. More decorative nonsense. Let's see, what do I have in the way of stuff and things? I have many things in the way of stuff and things. and Or just in the way, one of the two. All right, let's go ahead and drop this off. I'm almost certainly going to need some more tough, but... Oh, right. Bamboo. Trapdoors. Cool. Let's get these in place. Okay. I think I only went six high. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Actually, I'm not entirely sure this needs to be this high. I want it high enough that it uh, definitely says, look, here's the thing. Get glowberries in your shop. Okay. Yep, I may have to hit that up. I actually need to to uh, go uh, steal steal some uh, allays from you, or at least breed some allays from what you've got over there. I had a thought for some allay powered goodness, and I don't have allays. I also don't have a record, so that could be an issue, too. But, all right, so that's going to go this way. That's the next question. Do I want to bring up... I'm just going to pop up a little screen here. Okay. In all honesty, I may just take... May just take this out and just leave the screen. Yeah, you may have taken the LA from that outpost. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, just because I'm thinking an LA powered wheat farm would be kind of nice. And possibly a sugar, LA powered uh, sugar farm. Not entirely sure, but yeah, I think that's going to be better. All right. Now, let's see. If I were to, to take some tough here and run this across and kind of edge these, is that looking okay? Now, things are a little funky here in the corner. Yeah, I think that's going to be good, and then I can deal with some plants and other stuff and things. Also, maybe a couple of beacons in one in that corner and one over in that corner. It's an idea. It's an idea. All right. 
tough. Um, that's a very good question. Do I have tough blocks? I think the answer to that question is going to be no. I think I'm going to have to run down and mine some. Man, actual mining in Minecraft? I don't know. I don't know what's I don't know what this world's coming to, but that might be a thing I have to do. Got basalts. Yep, so you got plenty of amethysts. Alright. I still have these kind of streams and watching the process. Yeah. Well, you know, it's one of the things that I I have an issue I don't necessarily take issue with. It's just when you watch a lot of YouTubers and stuff, they originally get the, hey, I want to build this. And then quick time lapse or quick cutaway and look, it's built. And you don't always get the thought process that went into, hey, how did you get there? So it's kind of nice sometimes when you can just sit back and say, oh, this is how this person is approaching this problem. Or, you know, and sometimes it's nice when I'm looking at decor and interiors. And how the heck are you doing that interior, right? And this all feels very dark. Game override is normal, but, ah, just feels dark. I mean, I can understand if I had been playing in uh, my solo world where I do have the Gamma Override on it quite a bit because I'm in the ancient city. But. Alright. So there's a stack in some. Let's, uh, definitely going to need more than that, though. Found a nice iron vein down here if anybody needed iron. Like to see the full process. Oh, right. Yeah, and sometimes, okay, the time lapse. Here's the idea. This is what I want to do. And then the time lapse through it. I've certainly done that a few times myself. It's like, oh, yeah, here's the wall. This is what the wall looks like. I'm now going to repeat that a thousand more times. Let's go. Right. But sometimes, you know, working through the thought process and... In the videos, obviously it gets cut down quite a bit, but it's one of the reasons you go to a stream, right? Is you can get to see some of how of the process. It's like again, how does how does this person approach interiors? Is there are they doing something cool? Is there something I can learn from them? Or is it just Ooh, pretty? And None of that's wrong. It's like, okay, yeah, this is this is cool. Alright, how am I doing? Got a couple of stacks. Yeah, but there's there is definitely an iron vein coming through here. Yeah. Coming through. So if I needed iron, which I don't, but if I did, I would absolutely have plenty. I'm all excited too. Um, Lucasfilm announced on their, uh, well, on all of their socials. I saw it on YouTube. They've got a new um, Tales of the, in this case, Tales of the Empire series. So last year they did a Tales of the Jedi, which was a couple of different stories. One focused on, a, or a couple of focused on Ahsoka. One focused on uh, Dooku. And his fall from the, the Jedi Order to being a uh, a Sith Lord. Six of one, half dozen of another, I suppose. But this... Uh, this this story tells two. One is, tells the story, the rise of Morgan Elsbeth and how she hooked up with Thrawn. Elsbeth we met in um, Season 2 of The Mandalorian... And she featured prominently in the Ahsoka series. 
Oh, we thought the stream was going to drop a minute. Hopefully, I've got everything kind of sorted out. Might have dropped a packet. I think we're okay. Hopefully, I'm not running into the uh, issues I was running in with before. Uh, but then the other story, which I'm really excited about, tells the story of Barris Offy. Barris, uh, for those of you, if you've never watched The Clone Wars and are into Star Wars, you should watch The Clone Wars. It's um, some of the best Star Wars storytelling. Now, you might have to wait just a little bit. I mean, not wait to watch it, but the first... Uh, season or so still is a little bit childish but as it goes on um which way do i go george which way do i go i didn't label it so we'll try this way i think this is wrong but we'll try it anyway there's a yeah this is wrong but there's a story with towards the end it's the end of season five with Ahsoka and Barris Offie. And it is so good. And so it's interesting to see what happens to Barris. Okay. I hear water, so it must be in the right place. Somewhere. Somewhere there's a staircase here. Don't make me break out the cheaty cam and figure out where the heck I am. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is almost looking good. All right. One of these days, I'm going to keep track of where I am in a cave and be able to find my way out on my own. Today is not that day. Okay. Okay. So somewhere. Oh no, that's the um that's the geode. So this I think this is the right way. Or no, that is not a geode. That's just a place where I blocked off lava. Cool. It's not that big a cave. I shouldn't be getting lost in it, but I am. Totally am. Okay. Right, it's not that way. Cool. Da -de -da -de -da. So, yeah, anyway. Yep, here we go. This is the place. Let's just open this up a little bit more. It's the wrong pickaxe for this, but... That's okay. So, yeah, so I'm very excited about the Tales of the Empire series. Um, I think it's a wonderful way of telling some of these little side stories that are uh, that have been bouncing around the Star Wars for a while. It's like, yeah, what? How did that happen? What's going on? Can we finish that story? Yeah. All right. So... It is airing, according to, if I'm remembering right, May 4th, Star Wars Day. So, yeah, good stuff then. All right, I've got lots of stuff. Yeah, I would, of, of course, right? We'll celebrate Star Wars Day with, uh, with Star Wars, right? Seems, that seems reasonable, right? Deep slate. All right. Uh, it's going to stream on Disney Plus. Since uh, Star Wars and Lucasfilm are, you know, owned by Disney. All right. I'm going to drop off a few of those here. You'll forget. Yeah. All right. Let's take a couple of these. We'll polish these up. And then let's head back up and... We'll line those those uh, walls, and then we'll see what we can do about some other stuff. Finding you to rem yes, yes. Didn't 
Nickelback have a song. Yeah. This is how you remind me. Something like that. Alright. Yeah, so I think if we just bring this around this way. But yeah, I'm I'm all excited about it. First, I'm a Star Wars fan through and through. It was the first movie I ever saw in theaters. Yeah. Whoa, 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 okay. Gravity works. That's the express elevator. I don't want to block that off. Okay. Right. But I should at least close this part off. All right. And probably like that. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, but yeah. Heck, I've been really enjoying the Bad Batch, which has been on. For, saw it for the first time in a drive-in. Nice. Very nice. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the right call. This calls brings in the uh, all of the uh, other stuff. So. Let's go ahead and take out this, take out that glass. All right. Yeah, I think this is, I mean, because it kind of matches what's hap happening on the rest of the tower, right? Did I break? I did break part of the tower. That's not cool. That's not what's part of the plan. Okay. All right, now what did I break? Okay, it looks like I just broke those and then that. Okay, got it. All right, I think we're good. Let's double check the outside. All right, this is the problem with the haste beacon. Okay, I like having a haste beacon, but this is definitely one of those problems that uh, comes up because I have a haste beacon. Oh, but man, the the Bad Batch, though, season three has been intense. If you like drama in your Star Wars, this has definitely been a good show for that. Like, if, you know, it's maybe not quite as crazy serious as, as Andor was, but, oh, it's been so good. Storytelling has been pretty amazing. All right. Okay. I mean, I was, I enjoyed the Bad Batch when it first came out, the first season. It was, it was good. It was fun. It was Star Wars, you know, good stuff. But the second season is, it's, you know, things started to really ratchet up, and now here in the third and final season, it has been so intense. And in a good way. It's like all of the all of the fun political machinations have just been fabulous. Alright. So still debating whether or not I want to put the Beacons in the corners. Okay. But this is... This is good so far. I'm gonna close that. There's the water elevator that's down there. But I'm stopping it at the... Um, at the portal, so I'm not sure I actually need, it, need this here. Still, it's a quick do drop down to the portal, so... Yeah. That might be good. All right, now. Yeah, putting tough around the outsides of these sections was great, right? It it's, matches what's happening on the outside. I think what I want to do is let's, 
bring the tough up these sides right along the bamboo. And then maybe see if I can drop some lights back there. And maybe I'll bring in some more greenery. Or, and perhaps some of the uh, cherry leaves. Just to add some more color and other fun stuff up there. All right, so, yeah, I think this is going to work. I think so. There's there's definitely a lot of thinking that's happening, and it's not always by me, but I suppose that's could be unusual. All right, so that's going to go that way. Let's bring this. Well, I was going to go that way. All right. Yeah, frogs are fine. Yeah. Frogs definitely have their moments. You know, things are fun when you get to uh, play with frogs, and you also you realize that rabbits are morons. Man, I thought villagers were bad. But man, rabbits are just stupid. They forget that they know how to jump. Rabbit AI is just... <laughs> Hello, Justin. Are you just realizing I'm old? I mean, that that's... I mean, congratulations on have, having working eyes. I'm impressed. Yeah. Yeah, the one that thought... Uh, I like the door gift. Ah, yes. I had a, a special place for the... Uh, for the extended extended warranty, yeah, it was. Uh, I, I, yeah, I I made the connection. Eventually, I get there. <laughs> no, I I put the uh, extended extended warranty in a very special place. Hey, White Top, how's it going? I had a space picked out just perfect for it. I put it. I I'm storing it in the lava cauldron so it doesn't get lost. Okay. It's the perfect place for it. Um, yeah, just in case it's ever uh, needed for reference, it's just stored in that lava cauldron. Best place for it. <sighs> All right. So let's get back up here. <laughs> yes, that's the important paper spin, exactly. So, yes. And yes, I did get the shulker back. Thanks, Thank you, White Top. Hopefully those emeralds were helpful for you. All right. So let's see now. How do I want to do this? Um, so I want to put in some lights, but I also want to bring in some leafy goodness. So I think what I want to do is... And I want to do this where I'm not potentially getting in my own way. Because like I said, if I want to put um, a beacon back here, where would it go? Right, it would be like here. Just like that, right? And then the beacon itself would go there and then would shine up. Though I could even move it one block lower if I wanted to add a color to it, which actually I probably would. I'd want to make it yellow. Just to fit the theme of the build. So that would put it down here. No, down one more. Akitaki. Yeah, a beacon would fit, would fit nicely there. I just don't know... I darn it, I have to go get some more beacons because I've used all of the ones I have. I have to go slice down some skeletons. But 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 and it's a big but. We are talking gigantic size but. If I were to right, so that would be the area where that is, the beacon would kind of sit under there. If 
I were to light that up and let's bring in, oh, where did I leave my leaves? Okay. Pink on the opposite corners and yellow. Yeah, I see, I'm kind of thinking of doing yellow on the wings and then I've got pink in the center. Yeah, you know, something along those lines. Okay. So let's get out here. We've got some leaves. I may have to get some more spruce. I definitely gonna need to get some more oak. Okay, there we go. It's also possible I could turn off the center one and just use the corners, but... Alright, so... Let's bring a little bit of greenery here. Actually, that would be, that's fine. So basically one, two, three, right out to that. So that's cool. And I'm gonna bring in, yeah, some of the pink leaves here. Let's go ahead and bring in some more of this. Okay. Something kind of along those lines, I think. Let's. Okay, hang on. Got to pillar up. That's not the right way. Um, actually, maybe it is. Let's take off that one. Let's put in. Let's put in a little bit of spruce up there. Yeah, what's that looking like? Well, that's kind of okay. I think what I want to do is let's go ahead and run a little bit of... Yeah, let's take that out. A little spruce there, and we'll just bring some pink leaves kind of down this way. No, no, no. I, it's, I like the idea of bringing the leaves in, but this is just too low. It's making... I've already got a lot of stuff happening on these walls. And having all the flowers and leafiness there is a little bit much. Okay. So let's clean this out a little bit. Okay. Uh-oh. Somebody's calling my name. Pearl. I am now concerned. I have an axe. Okay. Well, apparently my horse can talk, so we're good. Pearl, where are you? I, I'm down at the front door. Front door. Yeah, we're... We're just, uh, there you are. Oh, did you see my little note? Oh, are you the spammer? I'm not the spammer. You, you need to extend a warranty. <laughs> oh, if, if, if only that were true. But sadly, my warranty has been long enough for anybody. Just ask them. So you need the extended, extended warranty, sir. No, uh, I, I think I'm okay. I mean, I mean, look, my my horse might be a little run down, and you know it's perfectly fine. Well, he he doesn't have a house. Oh, he's perfectly fine. He's, he's got a stable. It's all good. No, not up to the my standards. Oh well, see, if you just lower your standards just a little bit, we'll be fine. Well, my standards don't lower, my <laughs> friend. Ah, I see. Well, bummer. So you need to pay the extended, extended warranty. Ah, well, you just wait for that. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you a deal. Uh-huh. 
Eight stacks of scaffolding, and we got a deal. Darn. You'll just have to uh, wait for that. I can give you. I can give you eight scaffolding. No, not eight. I need eight stacks. See, Th they stack right, just like that. That's no, not not that. <laughs> I need eight stacks of sixty-four. Ah, ah. Well, that's because uh... I know you're good at it. <laughs> I, know, I, 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 I know you have all the stuff. I, I have. I definitely have bamboo. I I can give you bamboo. It's like scaffolding, but you know, some assembly required. No, I just need the whole thing. Ah, well. Just have to wait longer. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll give you this one because you helped me yesterday. <laughs> That's all right. Somehow you'll figure out how to make insurance scams work. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. My epic PvP skills. Oh, we're gonna. Get <laughs> I have the PvP skills of a small child. Oh, also, I can tear holes in my base. We're good. We're good. Oh, good. I'm stuck. <laughs> Yeah, this is going perfectly. Yeah, I don't know where you are. I'm gone. <laughs> the, Have a good day. The tower's not that big. <laughs> Have fun. Bring it up. Enjoy. <laughs> Sort. I don't know. I'm not. A, I like my axe. Axes are nice. They go through shields. All right. But uh, you know, and then when you have questions, right? You just ask them a question, and it's it's fine. Ah. <sighs> All right. So let's see now. What sort of planty goodness were we getting up to? Before, we were so rudely interrupted by insurance scammers. Once upon a time, I went to school, and they warned us about stuff like that. I think I'm just going to repeatedly fall off my, my wall now as I plant cherry leaves. It's just traumatized by the, the, the scams. I need to do my my improv skills were failing me today. I'm sorry. I need to do better at that too. Okay, I can't. Apparently, we're gonna have to do go around the other way. I do kind of like this. In fact, if I bring some, if I put some tough on top of that, that might work. Let us see. If one sails, maybe not use a sword. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nope, you're right, you're right. <laughs> oh, yes. Creepers are always fun, right? All right. We're just going to... Uh, Bring the tough like that. Yeah, see, I think that... Oh, look. 
Yeah, I think that's going to look okay. And then let's... That. Of course... We picked probably the, also the worst place to have a fight because we've got regen and um, and resistance here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. All right. Sounds like scary things are happening out there with the in creeper land. <laughs> Longer battles, that's it. Okay, that's not scaffolding. That that doesn't even. Okay. All right. Yep, I can do it. I can scaffold. We have the technology. All right. Oh, actually. Um. Wow. That that was just really bad. Cool. Oh. Creepers blew up the path. That's not great. All right, so if I'm bringing this this way. Oh, that's not where that would go. Let's see. So I might have to turn off the haste beacon. All right, so this would go kind of sort of this way. Bring that in like that. Okay. If I'm going to have a Beacons kind of sitting out here. Let's. <clears throat> oh, darn it. And do I have a. I don't have any tough slabs on me, though I do have some stone brick. That'd be a... okay. No. No, I think I do want to use some tough, but. Okay. Or maybe, hmm, or maybe put stone brick there. Sorry, I got distracted by the pattern, and now this section is like popping in and out for me. Right? Do you ever have that? It's like, which way is this facing? Oh, now it's sticking out. Now it's sort of back. And now it's sticking out. Now it's reset. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Things. We have things. All right. Cool. So we're going to pop out this way. Yep. I should know better than to PvP somebody who's in netherite when I'm in, you know, half diamond armor. <laughs> All right. I believe I can fall. All right, let's go get the rest of that tuft that's downstairs. Oops. Hey, white top. Oh, I was muted. Sorry. Yeah. Hello. Hi. I say you looked a little lost. Uh, I, I heard. I heard the path got blown up, so I ah. was going to check it out. Nice. Well, the elevator's over on this side of the stairs. If you want a safe drop. On this one. All yep. Right. It's labeled for your convenience. All right. Uh, where the heck am I? I? I'm in my tower. That much I know. I'm fairly confident I'm in my tower. Okay. Stuff blocks. Let's polish up a few more of those. Yeah, I think actually I've got some slabs there too. Tough, 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 toughs. Yes. Okay. All right. So did you find your path problems? Um, not at the moment. I don't know where 
So oh. that the path got blown up, but I don't see anything. Oh, maybe it's in, out in front of uh, Snooper's place since. Oh. But the path seems to be, you know, fully functional. And it's looking pretty nice out here. This is this is good stuff. Yeah, I've been I've been busy. <laughs> nice. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's good. It'll be nice when this area actually gets all built up. I'm I'm excited. Oh. Anyway, how's it going there, lab? Or lady with a la with the lab? But Kiana? Nice. Okay. How's it going? Welcome in. As I am making uh what could be kindly called progress. Okay. It's the the place is definitely looking leafy. And oh right, slab. Slab, 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 slab. Oh, nice. Relaxing sounds like fun. Actually, you know what? I was thinking of uh, putting the slab there, but actually, let's, let's go ahead and put the block. Yeah, and then slab in just to bring some of that depth down. Yeah. Okay, nope, I can't do that. I can't do that. We're not, we're going to pretend we did not look at that. And uh, we're just going to... Okay, maybe... Uh, hmm. Okay, let's get up there and do some other things. Yeah. <sighs> do you have a Boston in a lab? Okay, that makes sense. Yep. Or a tough fence post? Yeah. Well, the problem I ran into is it was looking a little inappropriate for a family-friendly channel. So we're going to see if maybe I can do something about that. Also, I think, just to, uh, come on, slabs. That's definitely a slab, not in the right place, but, okay. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, break this up a little bit. Okay. So let's do that, and then that might be looking a little bit better. Um, then again, maybe I want to just take those things out from the corners anyway. Right now, I'm just trying to make it look not quite so, uh, um, yeah. All right, so the problem is, the problem is I want to put an iron block right there. But for now, let's just go ahead and, and stack that in that way. And I don't have any cobblestone on me. Okay, that's inconvenience. Do I have cobblestone in one of these junk boxes? I do. Hey, what do you know? Okay. I love it when I have random garbage. How many of you have random garbage that just suddenly turns out to be useful? It's such a nice feeling when your random garbage is useful. It's like recycling, but with, with, uh, more warm feelings and stuff. It's been a long day waiting f for the shop to pull your truck in. Ah, fun. <sighs> but yeah, it's just like, hey, you know, look, random junk. Yeah, I think that's basically going to work. I could bring things down a little bit, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Random garbage is never useful. I get that. Yeah, we'll see what happens if and when I decide to put in a beacon, but for now, we'll go with it. 
Oh, man, I was hoping to have gotten further today, but this is... I mean, not that this is looking bad. This is actually great. We're making good progress, but... I said was sort of hoping we could have gotten just a touch further. Okay. How are we doing up here? So that... I don't think I want to fill that in. But I could definitely put some greenery up there. That's... I could definitely maybe kind of perhaps do something sort of. Is that is that definitive enough? I'm not sure, but I kind of think that perhaps maybe something. Maybe fill that in. I, I don't know. Interiors are uh, definitely a challenge. Yeah, because I've got I've got a lot of greenery right here, right? All of the the leafy stuff from that this little hanging garden thing. Ah, oh, statues. I think that they'd be too far away to be useful, but it's definitely. A, oh, hang on. Let me take a look up here for a minute. Oh, I've got an idea. <laughs> Ideas are awesome. Um, right. So, oops, greenery or water. Yeah. I mean, water could be fun because I could have it fall down because I've got this little um, trough here. So the water would even stay if I blocked it in properly. But what if we did something like this? What if we took a little bit of dirt? Okay. What if we took a little bit of dirt? Hang on. Minecraft has decided it needs to break. Okay. And what if we uh, were to come in here with a little bit of bamboo action? I might have to do some other magic with that, but... Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to need some light in here of some sort, but... Heck, I could just stack some frog lights in here. All right, let's... Yeah, bamboo. Let's take... Um, I can't do sugar cane because I don't have water, but... Why is that? Okay, I was going to say, that should be able to grow there. All right, if I'm coming back and looking at... Jeez, I've got plants in the way everywhere. It's not enough. There's... Start it. The bamboo's okay, but it's... There just isn't... An... It's not thick enough, right? So let's go and pop this out. Okay. So let's take this dirt out. Um, I suppose I might be able to... Mm, I couldn't get water in there because it would... No, I guess I could get water in there if I wanted to do sugar. Okay. Yeah, lights behind glass would be good. I do like the idea of having lights up here. Plus, I'm sure... Uh, some saplings, maybe. Yeah, a stained glass mural could be good. Um, let's try this. Let's put that in. Now, we've got ourselves... What do we have here? All right, hang on. I need to take a look at this. Let's get... Okay, let's get some pink and yellow stained glass. All right, you know what? I'm going to turn this one around. Just because I have a feeling... Here, you go there for a minute. Okay. There's my... Well, that's just in the wrong place. <laughs> Let's try this again. This time with feeling. Okay. Yeah, it... 
Wow. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fix this. Right, that should go there, and then this should go. Cool. I'm good at Minecraft. You know, I've been playing this game for at least 38 hours, and uh, yeah, we're we're good with this. Yeah, some wood might be good. I mean, I could bring in some of the uh, cherry logs. But I think you're onto something, though, with the mural. So, Dan, we go. <sighs> Missed it by that much. Okay, so, you know. Need to get some more carrots, too. All right, hang on. I need to get carrots. And then we'll stick the bamboo in there for the moment. Uh, carrot shavings. All right. Definitely need to make more, some more of that. All right. <laughs> Love that show. It was a good one. I liked it too. The movie did not do it justice. Ah. Okay. Gotta love the caffeine-free zero sugar Coke. All right, um, glass, 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 glass. And I think, actually, do I want to do blocks? No, let's let's bring the pain. Um, well, that'll give some anyway. Yeah, Get Smart was so fun. When I first saw it, I didn't realize it was a spoof at first. And then I got into it, and I just was like, okay, yep, I'm down with this. All right, so let's grab some of that, and... I've got a water bucket. I'm half tempted to actually... Somebody had mentioned potentially doing some flowing water up there. That's not a bad idea. I may do that. So let's just sort of meander up. Your room looks kind of looks like Mad's desk. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So what if I were to bring in right? Because I've got this yellow and pink glass action going on over there. Right. What if I were to bring in? How do I want to do this? Do I want to get all stripey or do I want to actually try to pattern it? We've got some vertical action going on there. So let's just try to place blocks in the right place. And if I could do it the first time, that would be ideal, but that's not part of my skill set, so we're going to uh, just sort of hope for the best and endure the sound of failure over and over again. Okay. All right, so yeah, we'll just get this glass in place here. All right. Now let's back off and see what this looks like. It looks okay. I mean, it's it's not fabulous, but it looks okay. Um, right. So let's let's see what happens when I put a little water behind that. Yeah. I mean, I could. Yeah. Just completely come back here with some frog lights, which wouldn't be horrific. But what if I were to, to do this? Okay. Let's just see what that looks like on that one column. I think we've got an, our answer here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let's go. Oh, jeez, monkeys. All right. Um... Yeah, random garbage. I has it. All right, let's go. 
Right, let's get some buckets, get some water, and we'll deal with this. Up and up and up we go. Alright, so I happen to have a few more buckets. Alright, and let's just load that up with some water behind it. I don't really have blue in most of this, but uh, you live for the cheese monkeys. Yeah, yeah. Yep, you can get your Ah Cheese Monkeys merch at musicfreegaming.com because product placement. Okay, so let's uh, fall off the scaffolding a couple of times. Okay, again, that's that is an important step. Okay, don't don't forget that step. A lot of people forget the falling off scaffolding step, and that's pretty much a mistake. Gotta. Okay, there. That's flowing that way. Cool. Okay, and we'll get some water there. Okay, and I think I'm going to need some water right in there. I think I can get, reach it this way. And hopefully, I'm not pouring water down the side of my tower here. Okay, huh, tower is still dry. We're good. We're good. Okay. I think this is going to work. Let's let's hop down for a minute and just see what this looks like from down here. Yes, I think that's going to be better. So I've got some glass panes up there and I threw in some water buckets behind that you can't really see the water well just a little bit like you zoom in right i can see it but it's just enough it softens the stone behind it so it doesn't look quite as i so you basically just can't see it quite as well like up here you can see the stone at the very top and i think it gives a really nice look behind this glass it's, it's just sort of a it's not you know wonderful it adds a little bit of well, maybe a little bit of movement, just a little bit of color variation. Uh, sort of like looking out at the blue sky through this window here. It kind of brings that look in over here. I, kind of, I Actually, I really like that. The more I look at it, the more I'm really liking this look. Yeah, it's definitely giving a, a really good color. A few puffer fish. Yeah, yeah. So what I need is axolotl swimming in there. That's no. It, it, can a build be called complete if it doesn't have murder kittens? That's really the question. Okay, so go ahead and bring this across this way. All right, and right. This was all gonna sort of go up like that. Right, okay. I'm going to have to do some extra something or other, but we got this. Oh, also I should put a um, frog lights. Please, I would like to fly. All right, flying is apparently not an option. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. Just drop that frog light in there because of good good reasons that are reasonable reasons. If your reasons are not reasonable, you know, you might have some other issues. But, all right, where am I standing? Oh, right in front of this torch. Okay, cool. All right, well, that was not quite the block I wanted to use, but good enough. All right, so let's go ahead and get all of this in here, and I need to get across the other side. Yeah, and then I need to, yeah, fill all of that stuff in. Okay, cool. So my hopes and, and dreams of having shelving in place here are sort of not. Okay, 
just target that. That'll make that easier. All right. Uh, all right, cool. Is that right? No, that's not right. How do I screw this up? I'm sure there are ways. I'm sure I've screwed this up in many ways. How did I screw that up? Okay. Okay, cool. So I need... I need cobblestone is what I need. All right, come here, random junk box. You and I have a date. Warning, do not call your significant other random junk box. Music Free Gaming is not responsible for legal fees and that are the result of calling your significant other random junk box. Thank you for your attention. All right. All right, cool. Let's get up here, see if I can get this all finished, get the glass in, and yeah, this is going to be great. Take that one out, that goes there. All right, and let's see. So we're running lights all down this way. Wonderful, putting a light there, also wonderful. And then to keep things consistent, we're starting with the pink here. And the yellow slides in like that. And then I'll just go get some more glass, or some more glass, some more um, water, and we'll fill this in. Okay. Oh yeah, this is it's looking surprisingly good. All right. Um, how much? Oh, I've got plenty of tough. Yeah, let's get back up here. Whoa, okay, made it. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do this on, well, two more corners here. All right, lovely. Okay. Yeah, this is going to work out great. And th the other nice thing that that uh, water does is it uh, hides the frog lights just a little bit. Okay. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's definitely, oh, come on. Up we go. Up we go. I'm good at this. But it's definitely enough that they don't, like, stand out and say, Oh, look! There are frog lights here! They just sort of disappear behind all of that, uh, lovely water. Oh, definitely gonna have to go get some more glass, too. Cool. Alright, so, we've got... Got good things going on here, I think. Yeah, that goes there, and that pink goes there. Wonderful. All right, let's go get some more glass. We'll get some water. Oh, we'll get those filled in, and actually, you know what? Let's um, hang on. Ah, wrong button. Just, you know, my voice chat works, so that's good. We're going to set up a temporary water source. Ah. Thank you, White Top. I'm, I'm kind of happy with how it's turning out. It's a lot of experimentation, but I'm really digging where this is going. Okay. All right, so glass. I happen to have some more of that. And let's get some. Get some more of these panes. Yeah. Well, that's definitely plenty of panes. All right. We're good. We're good. All the panes. I'm, uh, hopefully I won't need too many more pink panes, but, uh, this is, this is going to do it, I think. Fairly certain. Okay. Oh, water. Right, water. So we're just going to set up a temporary water source up there so that uh, 
I don't have to keep coming back down. Yeah, this is oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be cool. I'm so I'm half tempted to uh, maybe slap a trapdoor or two over the the uh, cherry blossoms, but or the cherry leaves. But I think they're they're working for me. All right, let's water. Okay. All right, we good. We're good. Uh, that's less good. Okay. Random junk box. Sure. Yeah. Yep. All the random junk. Cool. All right. Let's get some of this water in place and... I said it's just a, just a little bit painful, you know. And... Yeah, just to be sure I've got the glass in where I need it. Right, and then that goes there. Oh, nope, that's not right. Got it. All right, so that goes that way. And then I fall down. I f yep, falling. Again, I, I'm... Fairly convinced that if you don't fall off your build at least three times, you're not just gonna, you're not done. Okay, just, uh, all right, let's get some more water. Oh, I had more water. Okay, well, we've got even more. Wonderful. Yep. You know, all the decorative nonsense. Yeah, you know, sometimes redstone is easier. You know, just... Uh... All right. Cool. So that side's done. I guess I need to go... Go do all the sides. All right. Okay. So that's, that side's all wet and watery. Is that a... That is looking significantly different. That one I can see the water flowing down. This one, I guess it's just how the renderer is hitting it. All right, whatever. Let's, uh, let's get this one up. Who knows, maybe I'll turn on shaders and we'll see if it that looks any better, but Had bubble columns. I think the glass would um, would hide the bubbles. Okay, actually, I'm just gonna take this one out because I think go that way and then this way. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, just that, yeah, it gives that, uh, I forgot who was saying it, it gives it a little, a bit of a lavender look. It definitely does. It definitely does. All right. Okay, well, let's pop it up here, get the rest of this glass in, and then, oh. Let's also fill up the water buckets. Hmm. Unparalleled parkour skills. Unparalleled. You'd have a hard time finding one, finding anybody with skills to match mine. Um, I doubt they would even admit that their skills are at my level because to do so would be to admit that they lack the basic jumping skills of a four-year-old. Yeah, that's, uh, it happens. 
It happens. But, hey, at least I can be an example of what not to do. And sometimes that is the best example of all. Okay. Get some uh, water in here and there. I gotta be kind of careful that I don't accidentally waterlog a, uh, a ceiling tile, you know? I don't start to insult the four-year-olds. I'm sorry, four-year-olds. I I said I was, you know, as, as bad as you, but you're actually probably better than I am. You, uh... Now go back to your previously scheduled juice box and chicky nuggies. All right. Yeah, there is water there. Yeah, it's there. I wonder if we've got a biome sh change here. That's Cherry Grove. This is Cherry Grove. Ah, Sunflower Plains. I think we do, Sunflower Plains. Yeah, we've got a we've got a biome change, which changes the color of the water. You fall more, more in this version? Yeah. That's it. I'll just I'll just bra blame this release of Minecraft. Okay. Interesting. That's that is interesting. Okay. The water is all in place, and I was noticing that this side and this side, it was harder to see the water than it is over here. So I did some checking and these two windows are in a Cherry Grove biome and these two windows are in a Sunflower Plains biome. And so I think this water is just a little bit of a lighter color. So it's not quite blending as well, but ha, huh, weird, but okay. I guess we can go with that. Oh, man. Huh. Kind of wondering now if I should get in there with maybe some blue glass instead of the water. Oh, the water's fine. It's just... It makes me wonder. But I'm going to have to be stopping soon. One, it's about that time, but my back is starting to hurt. And uh, as any middle-aged man will tell you, once the back starts to hurt, you got problems. So... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. The panes would all connect to the blue glass. Um, yeah. I mean, lapis would look amazing behind it, too, but you've got the same problem here. I suppose I could replace those with glass blocks, right? And put lapis behind, but still, I've got areas where there's another, like, the, that's stone brick directly behind the glass. So, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely funky, but just free cam up, make sure. Yeah, the water is falling down. What is? It's just a lighter shade of blue here. Than it, sorry, free cam over this way. Than it is here. Huh. That is the problem with water is the, uh, is it changes color based off the biome. The other thing that would look good back there, but not in this build, would be lava. Lava would look good back there too, but it, it wouldn't fit the, the vibe of this build, so we're going to not do that. <sighs> okay. Well, watercolor issues aside... Um, this room is looking pretty good. There might be a few other things I could get in and tweak, but all in all, I'm really liking this. It's really feeling like an actually kind of finished space, other than the fact that my uh, pop-up shop is still just popping up. So oh, I need to get in here and finish, you know, I don't know, tables and barrels and piles of things and other stuff, but 
This is really feeling so much nicer. But yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Thomas. This is really starting to, uh, really starting to shine here, you know? Yeah, and I think if I were to set up, uh, ooh, 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 I have an idea. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop, but I have ideas. And I can't stop when I have ideas. Um, right, let's, let's figure out some ideas. Yeah, parrots flying around. Yeah, that's an idea. I don't want to have too many mobs in here, though. That would be... That could get really laggy. But I do want to do... Um, iron. Okay, let's... Let's grab some trapdoors here. Some iron trapdoors. Uh, I probably should get a few more than that, actually. Yeah, because I think I've got something here that might work. Maybe. Yeah, again, it's the same problem. You've got mobs. And this really isn't the place to get super crazy with the mobs. Um, however... Seen the amount of mobs. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, let's grab, since I happen to have a, a lot of spruce. Okay, I need some chests. Okay. That will serve. All right. Let's try the uh, carrot stack that just has a couple in it. Yeah, these areas where I don't have quite as much room, it's going to be a little interesting uh, building out the space, but up here where I had all the room to play with, it's fairly straightforward. All right. Let's take some trap doors here. Three, four, uh, or five, let's see. And, and then the other question is, do I want to do it this way or do I want to do it separately? Please tell me I've got my trap doors here somewhere. Thank you. So I could I just come up here and put chests like this, right? Right, do something along those lines. Yeah, it's a that's a reasonable shelf. Another option. Oops, that's not quite right. Is I could run the shelf something like this. Same idea, okay. But put the chests under it. At least for this one, I think I want to do it that way is put the, have the chests on top of the shelf. Okay. So let's do this. And I'm going to just put a, I'm not sure that's totally legit, but we'll go with it. Okay, and then I can, very simply, just drop a couple of chests like this. Oh, where's that? Yeah. Hang on. Let's grab this ender chest. Okay. Take that out. Oops. Nope, scaffolding can stay there. Ender chest can go there. And then, yeah, I can just put... Uh, Yeah, I can I could kind of do something like that in the in the sides. And then we'll do the same. Oop, I'm going to need more iron. Okay. No, nope, that's fine. I've got lots of iron. Iron is good. We've got plenty of iron. Because I have I'm right next to the community iron farm. We've got plenty of iron. All right. 
But, let's see. That should be good. Unlike iron uh, bars, which I tend to make a zillion of, iron trap doors are a little bit easier. I keep forgetting that the iron bars makes like 16 of them or something crazy. Six, I don't know, a lot of them. So, oh, I'll make a few iron bars. It's like, oh, I've just created all of the iron bars ever. Okay. And again, we're just... Do I still have some cherry trap doors? I do have a couple. Let's... I'm going to take these ones out. And let's see it with the cherry instead. Just because there was a lot of... Yeah, there's a lot of bamboo happening there. So, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I think it, it does with the, the chests on top. That's, that's the way to go. And then with the, this. Now, that back there is a little bit... I suppose I could just put uh, a cherry block back there or something, but. All right, so that's going to go there. Take this out. So go like that. All right, cool. And then. Nope, I need another couple of chests. Fortunately, I have plenty of oak. Okay. Which is good because. I use chests. All right, now is that not particularly happy with this location of the ender chest? It's good for a shop to have an ender chest in it, but uh, maybe what I could do is put it there. Yeah, because you want to have an ATM, right? A nice place where people can get in and get at their their emeralds and things like that. Or their diamonds. I mean, they might want to get at their emeralds too, but... Okay. But I don't... Hmm. Sorry, it's just as I was looking at that... No, I'm going to... I am going to... Maybe hide that ender chest. Because I was just thinking I may want to put something else here, like a barrel or something. So yeah, we'll just stick the ender chest back in that corner. It adds a marginal amount of light back there too, which could be interesting. Um, Do I have any... Oh yeah, I do have a little bit of cherry planks. Just a few. Not many, but I think that's going to be a little bit nicer... Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just a little bit nicer than the, the bamboo. I know it's a little blocky being, you know, a block, but I think that's I think that's gonna work a little bit better. I mean I could put some cherry leaves back there too, but I think we're okay. Alright. Cool. Now do I want to Put anything over here because I certainly could right I could definitely come in and you know we could pop in a little bit of oh right I this would have to be a shorter shelf so because of the well maybe not I could always take this out I mean, it's still a shorter shelf, but. Now, for now, I'm going to leave it. I don't need the that, that display space. So, for now, we'll leave it. And here, we'll. Okay. All right. Again, this is just my little. Oh, yeah. I just need to get through here real quick. Okay. Cool. 
All right, this is definitely looking better. I'm I'm kind of grooving with this. Cool. So let's offload some of the. Oops, no, I want those carrots. Uh jeez. I was like, what do I have that? Uh... All right. Let's just unload some totems. All right, and these guys got some diamonds. That's wonderful. All right. Cool, so those will go there. Let's go ahead and stash these in the ender chest because that's a place for them. And... Okay. Yeah, just uh, slap these in here. Okay. And now my epic typing skills. Totems of undying. Something like that. Okay. Yep, and I could do the, hey, put the thing in the center, but we're just going to do it this way. Okay. Okay. Four diamond. Oops, diamonds. There we go. Yes, again, epic typing skills. Shh. I'm going to capitalize those. It probably doesn't matter, but. Okay. Okay, let's make sure my fingers are actually in the right place on the controls. All right. Awesome. Okay, do I have... Yep, I've got inventory space to pick those up. All right. Yeah, so the rest of the chests are empty, but okay. Well, this is not too bad at all. It would be nice if I had a little bit of something here in the middle, but I think that's a problem for future me. Move my Totems of Undying over here. And I've got plenty of space if I want to start selling a few other things, right? So definitely excellent. And this place is looking alive, which is fabulous. It doesn't look like an unfinished room anymore, which I'm all about. I'm definitely about that, you know, sort of finished looking lifestyle. Ah, nice. I love it. And yeah, I could come in and... So I drop a barrel here between the chest if I wanted to. I could do any number of things, but. Oh, I like it. I like it. It's definitely looking so much better than it was. So, yeah, a nice, nice walk in and. Yeah. And there are the totems. All right, and, you know, if anybody needs to. Oh, right. Do I still have that birch sign? Probably in one of my... Yeah. I should probably change this out, actually, for bamboo, but... Right, I don't have a... any more bamboo signs. Okay. You know what? Maybe let's not. Let's just go ahead and close that off. Oh, do I? I have oak around here somewhere. I'm trying to stop. I have to stop f uh, fiddling with things. I'm trying to stop. But now we're gonna, we're gonna at least get that in place and a little bit of that going. Okay. Okay, it's not, not fabulous, but it's, it's the rest of those rooms, as I said, it's going to be a little bit of an issue. This room is is looking great, though. All right. All right. Cool. Well, definitely a, a much nicer. Oh, I wonder if I could put a good, maybe a good water feature. 
coming through here. Okay, no, no, I have to stop. I have to stop. I have to stop. That's too many problems for future me. We are stopping. We're stopping. Yes, we're stopping. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been a lot of fun. We've made some good progress, and there's some great stuff going on here. Um, do you, of course, want to point you over at musicfreegaming.com, where it's got links to all of my socials and all of that good stuff. Um, and brand new, just launched today. Aside from paid memberships, where you get all the behind-the-scenes access for things, um, there are now free memberships. I'm just rolling this out. I don't know quite how they're going to work yet, but you could sign up for a free account at musicfreegaming.com, and there will be stuff coming as I figure out what and how that's going to all work. So, ah, oh, yes, and Snoopers, you're absolutely right. It's hard to stop when you're in the zone. I, I get it. All right, but we're done. Uh, so until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.